Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to another of my great videos. Today I'll be covering 10 tips all War Thunder beginners should know. So hit that subscribe button, like and let's get straight into the video. First tip, start an arcade. As a beginner, you wouldn't want to immediately go on and start playing realistic. Let yourself learn the basic mechanics of the game and everything essential for the game. Nobody starts walking as soon as they are born, so no need to rush it. Also, if you do rush into realistic battles, you will most probably leave the game in a couple of days because it just won't be any fun. Me, myself, actually, play sometimes arcade just because it's fun and want to break out of the grind a bit from realistic. Second tip, well now that you played a game or two of arcade, you would like to configure your controls a bit, especially if you are playing air battles. I use mouse aim because it is generally the best and the easiest. Foreground battles, if it isn't already, make your throttle S and W. And for your steering, make them D and A. And for any other control that you would like to configure, I'm leaving that on to you. Third tip. Now for your graphics settings. If you like how your game looks, I'll just let it say as is in your Mac settings or movie settings. But the most important thing is no matter what graphics you have on, always have your grass range on zero. That is because on many maps this can give you a significant advantage. Of course, if you do want an even bigger advantage, turn terrain quality to zero as well. If you don't like how your game looks like with that off, just leave your graphics as they are. Fourth tip. Do tutorials the game provides. There are some useful things that can be learned from just playing through tutorials. Of course, most of you will probably say that you know that stuff, but just play through it. You only need a couple of minutes of your time to complete them and I don't see anything negative that could come out of you playing these tutorials. Fifth tip, all about ammo. When I was a beginner, even I made many mistakes with ammo. There are many types of ammo, but I'll tell you the most important ones. Basic AP is ammo type you should be trying to avoid. Even though many American tanks, in the beginning especially, have it, but as soon as you research AP, C, B, C, use it. HE is ammo type that is used to defeat lightly armored vehicles. But don't stress about that that much. Only thing I use for the most part is APCBC and make sure to always look nothing more than 25 rounds. I personally always put around 20 rounds of APCBC. Sixth tip lineups. For your lineups, I recommend using one light or medium vehicle, heavy vehicle or tank destroyer, anti air and one plane. Use light or medium vehicle for flanking or rushing to the point first and capturing it. Use heavy vehicle to take on enemies from the front or use tank destroyer to snipe enemies from afar away. Use anti air to destroy planes from the sky. Trust me, your teammates will be thankful for that. Have one plane so you can deliver some close air support, even though if you are focusing on researching only ground tag tree, just use tanks. Seventh tip, sound settings. Very important thing is also your sound, or better said, how well do you hear the enemy tank. Of course, you would like to configure your sound settings to not destroy your eardrums, since the game will be on very high volume when you first join. As one of more important things that you want to keep on 100 volume is the other player's engine volume. That will essentially 
help you a lot. When you, for example, want to hear enemies around you, even though you don't see them, you can hear them, so you can prepare to fight. 8th tip. Choose the right nation. Choosing the right first nation is one of the most important things of every beginner player. If you start with one of the side nations, you will not have a good time, to say the least. Best three nations are America, Germany and Russia. Whatever you are using, ground, air or even naval vehicles, all of them are the best vehicles you will be getting. Starting with a side nation, for example, France, will destroy your will to play the game. And that is simply because they are not that good. Sure, they might have a couple of great vehicles that I even love, but for the most part, all of them are trash. That basically goes for any other side nation there is. Ninth tip. Stay with your team. Always try staying with your team. Many people forget that in War Thunder, main objective is winning, as in the most of the games out there. Winning, for the most part, is achieved by capturing and holding points. You will not be able to win if you just rush in, die and leave the match. If you want to win, stay with your team and capture points. By rushing, there is just a really big chance that you will die very quickly. But sometimes, if you are in a light vehicle, it is good if you rush to the point and hold a position from which you will be able to get a few kills. 10th tip. Have fun. There is nothing more important than having fun. If you aren't having fun, you will leave the game very quickly. Many people see the grind as pain. Don't make your grind a pain. If you aren't having fun with one nation, you can always try other nations or other game modes. Or you can just test out premium vehicles. Just find what works best for you and what are you having most fun in playing and surely enough you will start to see difference in your skills and you will start to improve essentially well my dear beginners that's all i have to say for today if you enjoyed the video and it helped you consider subscribing and liking if you think that i missed something important comment I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and have a great rest of the day.